I love this place. We're in Rocky Mountain National Park right now. It's a wonderful place to bring your family. Today on Colorado Martini Living. You need to count how many times I say beautiful in this video. Here's number one. Beautiful. So, it's a beautiful day in Estes Park. All the, not all, but many tourists left last night. Um, it just amazed us how many people come up here for the 4th of July just to watch the fireworks. Um, but we're looking on to Rocky Mountain National Park. It's just above the city itself, and we're going to go and check it out today. So, once you get into Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, make sure you look to the left and you look to the right, um, because you are looking for elk and bighorn sheep. Um, there's quite a few elk in the park. Um, it's your best chance of finding elk year-round. Um, but if you're outside of the park, usually the roads coming into Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, you can see a lot of elk, um, and especially in the fall. There's two roads that will bring you in to Rocky Mountain National Park from Estes Park, and that's Highway 34 and Highway 36. We prefer coming in 34 um, because we don't have to go through the downtown area, and we go right past the Stanley kind of up and around and we do a loop and come out the 36. Um, there's other entrances into the park, but those are the two big main entrances. We come in the entrance that's on Highway 34. One of your first stops should be Sheep Lake. It's not really a lake, it's more of a meadow, um, but after the winter rains and snows and stuff, there's little ponds throughout. This is also a great place to find bighorn sheep. Um, they're here in different times of the year, and if you're here during the summer, there's a ranger shack um, where they have some interpretive walks that talk about the sheep, and it's just wonderful. And it's one of my favorite places to take pictures um, and have a picnic. We always stop here and have a picnic before we go on uh, the rest of the park. It just is a, a wonderful place. There is no picnic tables here, but we usually just eat out of the back of the car because it's just so beautiful that it's just, no matter where you sit, it's wonderful. So let's take a look at Sheep Lake. Now during the summer months, you cannot walk out to the grass area uh, because it's protected because of wildlife. But in the winter time, the signs usually aren't up um, and you can walk around and it's just beautiful. And here comes Mr. Martini. Well, hello, Mr. Martini. I'm Mr. Prairie Dog today. Oh, okay. I'm Colorado Martini. <laughs> Now the one thing about Rocky Mountain National Park, there are no lodges here like there are in our other national parks, but there's plenty of campgrounds. Another thing about Rocky Mountain National Park, there's many visitor centers that you can stop by and take a look at some of their beautiful displays and talk to a park ranger on what hiking trail is best for you. So when you come and enjoy the park, Make sure that you stay on the trails and not trample through the meadows, hint, hint, and pick the wildflowers, hint, hint. It is illegal to pick the wildflowers. Remember, this is a habitat for wonderful animals and you're stomping on their food. To get around the park is their bus system. There's bus stops in many of the major areas. So just past uh, Sheep Lake is the Fall River Road area. Um, there's this wonderful waterfall kind of water structure um, back in here. The parking can be really bad in the summertime, so come early in the morning. Plus your pictures are the best in the morning. Um, there's also Fall River Road back here. It's close to cars, but you can hike it and possibly um, ride your mountain bike back there. 
So it is a beautiful area back here. It's one of our favorites. Um, and as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. So we're at the alluvial fan in Rocky Mountain National Park. It's starting to rain. Very common here to rain in the afternoon in the summer. But we're, it takes one of the trails up and it's really cool. So let's go take a look. So this trail, um, we're actually going over the rocky section, but there is a trail and it is rocky. You could probably take a wheelchair, but it is, uh, has a steep incline, so you could get it to a certain point. So as you see, you cannot get a wheelchair up here, um, or if you have issues walking, um, I wouldn't recommend coming up here um, all the way. Um, so we're walking up to where we can see the waterfalls better. So the trail starts getting rockier where you can climb the rocks and go up to the waterfall. So as you can see, you have to have good hiking boots. This is not a flip-flop trail where you wear your flip-flops. Now when you're in the park, rain, as you can see, moves in very quickly. Always make sure that you have a fleece or some type of light rain jacket. Um, thunder and lightning can roll in very quickly. So if you go hiking and you're going out far, make sure that you're on your way back by noon. Uh, or on, yeah, on your way back by noon. Um, because you don't want to get caught in a lightning storm, which is very common here in Colorado in the afternoons. Uh, they usually start around 3 or 4 o'clock. Um, it was blue sky about an hour ago, and as you can see, they move very fast. And especially here in Rocky Mountain National Park. So, this is the old Fall River Road. And this was the original road that um, took you across the park. Um, it says road closed, but that's just to vehicles. But as you can see, some people are hiking on it. Um, and you can also ride your bikes if you want. Uh, I challenge you, ride your bike up that hill. <laughs> so us old folk, we walk. <laughs> uh oh, we're in the Indo Valley. Snoop Dogg's behind me. <laughs> what does Indo Valley mean? Indo is what he calls weed, but. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> that's what Snoop Dogg calls weed, is Indo. I did not know that. Now you do. Oh, we're such an educational We're in channel. the Indo Valley. <laughs> we're here to educate. There he is. <laughs> the Snoop. So we're going to be ascending up this mountain here to get to the other side of the park. And that's where you'll find the turnoff for uh, Trail Ridge Road, which is not for the faint at heart. Um, so if you have problems with vertigo it's not the road for you um, and we're gonna meet up with the highway 36 and then we're gonna go down Bear Lake Road which is one of our favorites uh, to go down so let's go take a look <laughs> okay so we just turned off to the road to highway 36 and this is a very popular area to park and uh, go hiking and you can see why. Um, it has a very uh, alpine look to it and it's like being in the Alps. Ricola! <laughs> He's doing his big horn now. <laughs> Now, if you do go up Trail Ridge Road, the views are spectacular. It's above the tree line. So highest road in America. Highest road in America, and it is absolutely beautiful up there. Um, and there is a visitor center also. So this is Moraine Park. Um, this is where we have the best luck finding a large elk herd, especially in the fall. They're out in this meadow on the south side of the road. 
Um, some of my best elk pictures have been taken in this meadow. So this is Moraine Park. The elk, um, a lot of times are out in this meadow. There's a little creek that goes through here. Um, and it's just beautiful. Um, it's a wonderful place to picnic. But today there's no elk. And there is a campground further down this road. So we're on the road going back to Cub Lake. Um, it's absolutely beautiful back here. Um, it's a nice place to sit by the creek, uh, go fishing. There's a campground back here, um, but it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. This is the entrance on Highway um, 36. Uh, we find it to be a little more crowded, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Why? Because everybody goes through the town, downtown area of Estes Park on Highway 36. So we always come in 34 and we're going the opposite direction of all these people. So that's our big suggestion is come in Highway 34. Um, it's the highway that's right next to the Stanley Hotel and then exit on Highway 36 going back to Estes Park. And they keep coming and coming and coming. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're going and going <laughs> and going. Uh, we're smart. We get up and do the park in the morning. So it's 11 right now in the morning. And you can see, and it's a holiday weekend, of course. Um, so this is what you're in store for and there's not a ton of parking in the park so take a shuttle into the park you can pick them up at the visitor center in Estes Park you can also pick them up at the visitor centers that are just outside the park entrance make sure when you're driving around that you look for elk and bighorn sheep they're what's most of the abundant in this park <gasps> Hark! I see a wild animal right now. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.